Hey everybody, Matthew Solomon here, and uh, I'm going to get into relationships today. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a coach. I coach you on whatever it is that you want to have an experience in your life. Uh, I'm also an award-winning filmmaker here in Los Angeles, and I've been in and around the entertainment industry for most of my life. Uh, as an adult, I've been a student of metaphysics and communication and relationships and tantra and um, all the mystical stuff that you can... Uh, you know, that you can find. Um, I'm also a divorced father of three children. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about today, I've absolutely been guilty of. Um, I've been on the giving end. I've been on the receiving end. Things have not been pretty. Um, and I'm at a place where my ex-wife and I, the mother of my our children, um, we have a pretty solid relationship as, as co-parents, as friends, as, uh, as family, you know, we've gotten to a place where we, you know, we spend, we can spend holidays together as a family and do dinners and, and all of that. And it's, it's pretty, pretty extraordinary. And it's taken time and work to get to that place. The <laughs> first year was, you know, it did, did not look like it was going to go that way. And what was there was a commitment to have things work. Now, at the beginning of a relationship, you know, everything's great, Every, you know, you're like bonded and connected and you want to spend time together and do stuff and have sex and, and, and celebrate and like every moment is, is incredible. And then as time goes on, um, the TV becomes more important, uh, work, you know, wears you down stuff around the house becomes a nuisance the you know some of the things that you might have thought was cute about the other person begins to annoy you and then before you know it you're either stuck in a miserable relationship or you're getting out of a miserable relationship or whatever and you know as as somebody who's been through it as somebody who's coached people through it as somebody who has been a, a student of this you know, I see a lot of the same patterns and behaviors that fuck things up. Now, you know, what it, what I, you know, what I see a lot is, you know, the two people who were like partners begin to dig in and be, have to be right about certain things. Like, you know, I do more than you do, or you do, you know, you're this way and it doesn't work for me or, you know, like what, you know, one person might need help keeping the house clean because their threshold for socks on the floor, you know, is lower than mine. And for me, it's like, I don't have time to pick up socks. I'm, I'm working on shit, you know? And so it becomes a, you're trying to one up each other and you get in competition with each other instead of creating. Now, there's been a whole historical swing with you know, gender roles, you know, men and women and, and all of that, which is, is relevant. And I think it's more a communication relationship thing. I mean, you can bring the gender part into it. Um, but I also, you know, there's, you know, I grew up watching sitcoms. I love comedy. And, you know, when you're, when you're fed that dose of, King of Queens, <clears throat> where, you know, she wears the pants in the family, right? right? And she's constantly, you know, beating him up and, and taking him down and ridiculing him and making fun of him. Or, I mean, there's so many sitcoms like that because it's funny, though, you know, the woman wears pants in the family and the man's an idiot. And so, like, that's comedy. But then you start seeing that play out in real life or, you know, as a man you get on guard for stuff like that happening. And then there's the whole like, you know, conversation about emasculating your man or, you know, the woman's too powerful or too dominant and none of that works. And, you know, and all of that, and it just messes things up. And so when I'm around couples, hetero or, or same sex couples, and they're cutting each other down, it's like, fucking stop it. As I said, I've been on the receiving end. I've also been on the giving end. Neither feels good. Because when you're just trying to 
get one over on your partner. You're trying to one up your partner. You're trying to prove that, you know, I'm more important than you. It kills everything. It kills everything. So what do you do? You communicate. <laughs> you remember <laughs> that you fucking love each other. You remember that that you you remember that there's a human being in front of you who has thoughts and needs and feelings. You remember that you know in relationships I posted this the other day people just want to feel heard and understood and loved. You know, if my partner is stressed out because my socks are on the floor and I'm giving her shit about picking up my socks, I'm an asshole. Instead of just being like, okay, you don't want my socks on the floor. I get that. What's that like for you? And then she'll say something to the effect of, it drives me crazy because I need like a clear space to be able to operate. Which actually is a very, you know, in in studying relationships, like women like generally like to have their space like neat and tidy. You know, at least in my experience. And And so... You know, if I understand that that sock is driving you crazy, why wouldn't I pick it up? You know, at the beginning of, of my relationship with, with my ex-wife, when we first started dating, um, I remember we would order pizza. And I would save her the best slice. Instead of taking it for myself, I was like, nope, I want you to have this. And then by the end of the relationship, we're arguing over, like, I don't, I don't have time to clean the bathroom. I don't have 30 seconds to scrub a toilet. I don't have fucking 10 minutes to, to fold laundry. Why? So, um, so, you know, to bring this all around, where do we start? You start with, what do you want your experience of relationship to be? You know, not even what kind of partner do you want? Like, how do you want to experience relationship? Do you want to be uh, alive and excited and inspired by your partner? Do you want to provide for your partner versus what can I get out of this relationship? Like, I would even say that. Write down, like, sit, take some time and think about what do you want your experience of relationship to be? How do you want to feel? How do you want to feel every morning waking up next to that person? How do you want to feel when you get home from work and you see them? How do you want to feel uh, when it's time to go to bed? What kinds of things do you want to do? Do you want to, like, sunset cruises? Do you want to hike? Do you want to just lay around in bed on Sunday? Do you want to do yoga together? Do you want to go to museums? And start doing those things. And remember that those are the things that light you up and inspire you. And if you're with a partner, ask them to do the same thing. People just want to feel heard, understood, and loved. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, there's going to be more. There's more coming. Um, I coach people one-on-one. -on -one. I also have a group, a group coaching program starting up soon. So please... Uh, message me for more information. We can have a conversation about that. And thank you for liking and sharing this video. And I, I always say go out and do something nice for yourself today. So do that. And go out and do something nice for somebody else today. Alright, thanks so much.